Content to Note, Self-Translation Network Embedding. Let's start with the graph raising problem. There are five men with different nationalities. They live in five houses of different colors. Everyone drinks a particular beverage, smokes different cigarettes, and keeps different pets. And we have some clues. First, the British live in a red house. Second, the sweet keeps a dog. Third, the Danish drinks tea. Finally, the question is, who keeps the mouse? To answer this question, we can first draw a graph of men. Everyone has some features, and the clues serve as links between them. By logical reasoning, node features can be translated into node identities, and the question can be answered. What about more complicated scenarios? In large-scale information networks, node features may not be enumerable, and the relations between nodes can be implicit. Thus, the statistical and logical reasoning method can't work out, but the notion of translating from node features to node identities stay valid. In this paper, we study content-rich information network embedding. Take the citation network as an example. If we know the content and citation relations between some research paper, can we inference out the paper IDs? Therefore, we need network embeddings that facilitate the translation from node features to node identities. We obtain the parallel content and node sequence with random walks, and a sequence-to-sequence -sequence translation paradigm is devised to learn the mapping from content to node. The sequence-to-sequence self-translation mechanism is as follows. First, the node content sequence is first represented as an embedding sequence, and then fed into the bidirectional LSTM layers. The final hidden vectors of the forward and backward LSTMs are concatenated. Finally, the LSTM decoder layer decodes the context vectors into the node identity sequence. We conduct node classification experiments on three public data sites. The classification F1 scores have been improved over baseline methods. The length of random walks has been analyzed where 10 is optimal. The number of random walks started at each node has also been analyzed where 10 is the best choice. And for content embedding, the row TFIDF performs better than SVD embeddings which proves the advantage of end-to-end -end learning. If you are interested in more details, welcome to read our paper, Content to Note, Self-Translation Network Embedding, and check our code at the following URL. See you in London this summer.